Wits Motown Maggie in front at the last and flew it from Nancy Wise and Bantown Girl who's running on in between horses. They're well clear of Kilby Arikianti. It's Motown Maggie from Bantown Girl. Motown Maggie will see it out by three parts of a length as Motown Maggie gets her head in front and Wits Motown Maggie in front at the last and flew it from Nancy Wise and Bantown Girl who's running on in between horses. They're well clear of Kilby Arikianti. It's Motown Maggie from Bantown Girl. Motown Maggie will see it out by three parts of a length as Motown Maggie gets her head in front and deservedly so from Bantown Girl and Nancy Wise was in third place. And it's Gabanaco pressed by Midnight Run. These two to the final fence. Another brilliant jump by Gabanaco from Midnight Run. Fury Road is getting a second win with Max Flamingo. 150 yards to go. It's Gabanaco keeping on strongly from Midnight Run. And on the outside, Fury Road with Max Flamingo. Gabanaco wins it. And it's Gabanaco pressed by Midnight Run. These two to the final fence. Another brilliant jump by Gabanaco from Midnight Run. Fury Road is is getting a second win with Max Flamingo. 150 yards to go. It's Gabanaco keeping on strongly from Midnight Run. And on the outside, Fury Row with Max Flamingo. Gabanaco wins it from possibly Fury Road, Midnight Run, Max Flamingo for the placings in behind. Stansfield from Standoff. High Street Rollers, no more to offer. And it's Standoff getting on terms with Stansfield. They're out in front of High Street Roller, well cleared of the others. And it's Standoff in the lead and getting the upper hand from Stansfield as they run to the finish. It's Standoff winning confidently enough under Mark Walsh from Stansfield and High Street Roller in third. Stansfield from Standoff. High Street Rollers, no more to offer. And it's Standoff getting on terms with Stansfield. They're out in front of High Street Roller, well cleared of the others, and it's Standoff in the lead and getting the upper hand from Stansfield as they run to the finish. It's Standoff winning confidently enough under Mark Walsh from Stansfield and High Street Roller in turn. In the Lorna Brook Ireland v Britain QR Challenge Handicap Chase and its direct image from Favori Logique who got into the buckle end of it in third place is Shanroel LC but its direct image out in front by a good five lengths and is coming home a fine winner of the first running of the Lorna Brook Ireland v Britain QR Challenge Handicap Chase direct image continues winning ways from Michael O'Sullivan and Robert Tyner and its direct image from Favori Logique who got into the buckle end of it in third place is Shanro LC but it's direct image out in front by a good five lengths and is coming home a fine winner of the first running of the Lorna Brook Ireland v Britain QR Challenge Handicap Chase direct image continues winning ways from Michael O'Sullivan and Robert Tyner second is Favori Logique Maxine O'Sullivan for Team Ireland Coming to the final fence, it's Vosselet steadied into it from Mighty Stowaway. Snugsborough Benny is plugging on in third. They're clear from Warrior's Tail inside the final furlong. And it's Vosselet, the leader from Snugsborough Benny, who's in a private battle for the second spot with Mighty Stowaway. But Vosselet further advertises his well being inside the rails. Second is Snugsborough Benny. Coming to the final fence, it's Vosselet steadied into it from Mighty Stowaway. Snugsborough Benny is plugging on in third. They're clear from Warrior's Tail inside the final furlong and it's Vosselet the leader from Snugsborough Benny who's in a private battle for the second spot with Mighty Stowaway but Vosselet further advertises his well-being inside the rails second is Snugsborough Benny third Mighty Stowaway fourth of the four the bottom one Warrior's Tail Carney de Stage and Felice being gathered in by Sefton Warrior, who's coming home hand over fist on the outside. Felice from Carney de Stage and Sefton Warrior. They're clear from Shantou Warrior, and it's Felice that's digging down deep here from Sefton Warrior, who's coming again ahead of Carney de Stage. Felice is all out from Sefton Warrior. Felice. 
Falls in from Sefton Warrior, Canada Stage next. It's being gathered in by Sefton Warrior, who's coming home hand over fist on the outside. Felice from Canada Stage and Sefton Warrior. They're clear from Shantou Warrior, and it's Felice that's digging down deep here from Sefton Warrior, who's coming again ahead of Carnet Stage. Felice is all out from Sefton Warrior. Felice. Falls in from Sefton Warrior, Carnet Stage next, then Red Lemonade, who ran on behind them. Felice wins for Paul Bannon. And it's Happy Dex racing on a couple of lengths clear from Alpine Annie, Ockmodder Bridge and Bondebo and Caddick Wells and Drumley's Pet. Happy Dex from Alpine Annie who's trying hard on the outside. Happy Dex from Alpine Annie who's still closing on the run of the line, but Happy Dex scrapes it from in second place Alpine Annie and it's Happy Dex racing on a couple of lengths clear from Alpine Annie Ockmodder Bridge and Bondebo and Caddick Wells and Drumley's Pet Happy Dex from Alpine Annie who's trying hard on the outside Happy Dex from Alpine Annie who's still closing on the run of the line but Happy Dex scrapes it from in second place Alpine Annie long way clear of the third home, Bon Debo. Happy Dex makes a winning rules Debo. It's Glen Glass with trying to draw level O'More Park on the outside. It's the main two to the final 100 yards. Glen Glass from O'More Park who's trying desperately hard. It's Glen Glass on the inside holding off O'More Park. Back in third, Bally missed. It's Glen Glass with trying to draw level O'More Park on the outside. It's the main two to the final 100 yards. Glen Glass from O'More Park who's trying desperately hard. It's Glen Glass on the inside holding off O'More Park. Park. Back in third, Bally missed. Gavroche Dallier last of the four. Daily trebles are becoming the norm for Gordon Elliott.